What are you staring at? The future. Now, look up to the sky. Mm -hmm. Right? Are you looking? Mm -hmm. And watch out for a falling star and make a wish. And how long do I have to wait for a falling star to make a wish? Shh. Don't look. If you have to wait for me, how long will it take? Eternity. Still not looking. Frank. Now, eyes closed. Close your eyes. If you are to make a wish, how will it be? To love you for the rest of my life. Eyes open. Jeez, this is beautiful. Thank you. It's nothing compared to you. See, baby, you're the most beautiful girl in the whole world. And I love you. Mother lost her job, and so she couldn't finance her school any longer. Yeah. But I intend to pay her school fees, even if it means my selling everything that I have. I mean, Richie, I can't be here enjoying while my girl is out of school. When I know if I sell a few of my things, I can raise enough money to, 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 to pay her remaining two, uh, two, two sessions. You mean? You want to sell your properties to pay school fees for a babe? Are you mad? Shut up, Richie! They're mine! I bought them with my money, so I decide what I do with them. Oh boy, you don't have Kolo. Are you sure you don't want to sleep over this? Okay now, carry go. Try, but we can never run away from our shadows. How did you find me? I've been to your house. Your, your sister gave me this address. So, because I, I have no time to waste. Right? I'm going back to Lagos with me right now. We're going to go back home, pack your things, and we're going back to school. Seven thousand naira. I'm sure will be enough to pay off the remaining two sessions. Frank, how did you get this money? 
waiting for your answer. Why did you treat me this way? You don't understand. I don't. I trusted you, but, but, but you had this problem and you kept it all bottled up inside of you. Why? I'm sorry. But I don't want to bother you with my personal problems. Frank, I didn't tell you this before. See, after my father died, my mother managed the meager salary she earned to take care of the whole family. Until last month, she, when she lost her job and everything came to a standstill. I'm the first of six children. I had no choice. I had to drop out, get a job, and so I just, I could take care of her, you know? I'm sorry. But there's no job you would do now that can earn you a good salary. Unlike when you graduate and, and get a good job. Or, or you want to remain a sales girl all your life? Frank, I appreciate your counsel. But it's not all about school fees. I mean, there are other things I have to do, like buy my books, my handouts, food, shelter, stuff. Shh. Rose, for as long as I eat, you will eat. When I buy my books, you buy yours. As long as I have money in my pocket, the purse will not lack. Just promise me you'll come back to school with me and finish up. I'll go through fire for you. Thank you so much. Frank was joking when he said he wanted to bring you back to school, no matter what it cost him. My friend, he insisted I must finish, and he says he can pay my school fees through the rest three semesters. I just hope I haven't lost too much, too. Uh, uh, trust now, your usual ethical nature. You always catch up. <laughs> but Rose, I envy you. Honestly, eh? I never knew such guys still exist. Imagine a guy in present-day Nigeria Paying a girl through school. <laughs> Do I count myself lucky? Uh, hey, Linda, Frank told me you gave him back the necklace I sold to you. That was very sweet. Have, uh, what are friends for? Uh, uh, Bokomo, you go drop something. Yeah? <laughs> Colors of this beautiful flower. Well, the drama. The entire world will be without me if I were to be my life without you. What a beautiful place this world will be on the moon. You know, every time we're together, my heart fills with you. It's like I've never experienced it before. Frank, I just wish it would never end. Our love will last until the end of time. I love you. Frank. Yeah. I love you. Stop right here. 
Well, that's all for today. See you all next week and happy mid semester break. Whoa! <laughs> Thank you, it's Friday. <laughs> Poker. As though you need an holiday to be absent from school. Good day, class. Good day, sir. Good day, sir. And fuck you too, sir. <laughs>
give to me, then I think I can do with more enemies around me. Rose, you don't understand. Wait. Lube. Bobo. Luciano. <laughs> I don't suffer. I don't suffer for this school. 
Kuka Mezaya. Ah! I say people can't get that. When they begin clap and they laugh me because of that day. Again? Uh, for this school? Fuck off. Who can't be the bagger now? Wait to Puka. Now because of that Mumu Frank, now in the bed, they fuck up like this. Ah! Puka Yan! Mumu Yan! Puka Tom! Back as I say, you get idea. Who can be who for this school now? Say! Hey. Now waiting the tents. Okay. Look who go for and bed the bastard. Chill! Oh, Zubi! Zubi, no! No! Eh? Chill! Hapu! Hapu the guy! Viva! I go give and load way and go carry for the rest of your life. Eh? Viva! <laughs> no be babe. No be babe in the follow me drag. <laughs> it is okay. <laughs> Poka Mezaya. <laughs> it is okay. Can you imagine? Zelda even suggested that we, we, we both change school. Change school less than six months graduation? <sighs> Tell me something else. On a more serious note, Frank, I don't want you to get hurt. If there's anything you suggest we can do. Oh. I mean, don't worry, Rose. Listen, every true love strives on sacrifice. Okay? You don't want to fight me not because I love you, because of you. Splendid. Gladly take all the blows. As a price I must pay, I mean, for our love. Alright? Come to think of it. I'm checking out for a guy like me. Then I don't love you. I love you, Rosa. I do. I love you too. Splendid. Let me tell you this, their greatest weapons are threats and intimidations. I mean, if we don't fall for their cheap black news, then they will leave us alone. Come on, Rose. They can't destroy the beautiful paradise that I have ahead of us. In my job, if because you belong to one secret organization or the other that you can challenge my authority, then I may have you reported. So you merely employ cheap blackmail. I wrote your test, submitted your assignment, yet you gave me an E. The same thing you did last semester. My friend, if you are not satisfied with the grade, then you may request for your script to be remarked. Ah, what kind of remark is that? You are the same fellow wicked lecturer that remarked it. You think because you're a lecturer, the word is in your hand. Right. Mark me down again, and I will take a drastic action against you, fool. Mm. Okay.
Frank was arrested last night. What? Arrested? For what? I don't know. I heard it's one of the courtiers who shot Dr. Odenta. That he actually shot him. Courtist? Something like that. That's not possible. What? You, you know he's not. I don't know. I'm, I'm confused. Wait, wait, wait. wait. Rose, why are you going to? No involvement for this issue at all at all. No. And then more they go to your Kelechi! Something. You know Frank to do hurt and fly! Frank! Why have you brought this upon us? to ensure that the innocent is not punished unjustly. All we are saying is that you appear in court and take a look at the boy. That's all the judge requires and the boy will be set free. Oh, well, he actually mentioned that you both had some misunderstanding and that he actually threatened you. But I can assure you that it was an empty threat. The boy meant no harm. I see. That boy threatened fire price too. He's threatening hell for me. Yes, and he has actualized his threat. He has rendered me crippled. If I had died, what if I had died? Uh, I, I, I understand. I can understand your plight, and uh, I sympathize with you. But, but, but justice, justice, my foot. Justice bring me up from his wheelchair. I spent 25 years of my life teaching, raising men and women to help build a better society. How do I get paid to be eternally confined to this wheelchair? Barista, is enough trouble as it is being a cripple. Good day. the face of whoever it was that shot at me. But I'm convinced it was with that boy. He threatened fire. I mean, he, he, 
He swore to deal with me drastically. I have succeeded. Yes, it must be him. It must be him. I know it's temporary. Every day I shall implore the wind 
to carry the silent whispers of my love to you in jail until you come out to me when no mortal force can separate the binding cord of our union I shall wear this ring your ring as a living covenant of my promise to wait for you Actually, I've been looking for you this past weeks. I wanted to say I am sorry. I heard about what happened to your boyfriend. So sorry. Well, actually, I wanted us to. Prisons. That's serious. You know what I'm talking about. How am I supposed to cope with my final exam and travel to Metro Bay to see him? Why did you have to do this? Put yourself together. Oh, who's that? I just came to give you this. It's a, it's a gift. Hey, get, I get out! Get out! Get, 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 get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Get out! Thank you. Sorry. I have done everything possible to secure his release. But all to know, Who are my daughter? If you feel you can wait. Well, Mommy, it's not a matter if I feel like it. Frank and I love each other very much. I'll be off to Oyo for the next 12 months for my NYSA. And before you know it, 10 years is over. <laughs> stop crying, stop crying. Look, I assure you, Frank is in high spirits. I was there last week to see him. And believe me, he won't be happy if he hears you still brood over him every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my friend. <laughs> Thank you, Rose. You know, I'm very proud of you. Mom was saying and she talked about you and your job. Just that. Just that I'm a new person now. 
I, I have encountered the efficacy of prayers and I enjoy you to get closer to God. <laughs> Is that why you're looking so downcast? Uh, Ross, you know, you know we are miles apart now. I love you, yes, but, but I, I would not want to deceive you or myself by asking you to wait for me. have your degree now and a good job all I still have is I have six more years behind bars you see man can be better than you. Remember what you used to say? That we have a great future together? Yeah. Frank, nothing has changed. Only this prison wall separates us. Don't forget that. Look, I still love you. Okay? Tomorrow will be sweet again. I want you to know that the success and failure of this establishment squarely rest on your shoulders. Those your childhood pranks and euphoria should not be allowed to play in this. As you know, I'm not getting younger. We just employed a new company secretary. A beautiful an intelligent young lady. She's a lawyer by profession. She'll be working directly under you. Good morning, sir. Oh, Miss Okanga, please come in. Meet Mr. Patrick Iroka, my son. He's also starting today as the new assistant director of this company. What is it? Classmates. Oh, beautiful. What a pleasant coincidence. <laughs> Please sit down. <laughs> sit down. You see, we expect that both of you should translate your closeness and understanding of each other to produce a better result for this company. Yes, that. <laughs> eh? That is all for now. I want a both of you. Have a nice day. Thank you, sir. Um, excuse me, Dad. Yeah. This is a most unfortunate coincidence. God, I can't tolerate the sight of that good for nothing pest around me. My dearest Frank, as we have meaning these eight years, we have been separated by prison walls. I miss you so much. But each day that passes by gives me hope that soon, it will be ten years, and you will come back to me. You know, if we were not separated by prison walls, our first child would have been four or five years old now. Well, there is still time, and I will wait for you. Night and day I will wait, even if it rains and I'm getting cold. I will wait for your arms to bring warmth to my soul. Sorry I haven't come to see you for some time now. It's the pressure in my office. My new job is taking all my time. I hardly even have time for myself but I still find a place in my heart 
to think of you, my love. You will not believe this. The funny world. My immediate boss in the office is that notorious hoodlum called Puka Messiah. In my wildest imagination, I never thought I would ever come in contact with that bastard again in my life. But faith has a way of playing itself. I have so much to tell you, but it's late and I have to rise early tomorrow. So I will pause here for now until I hear from you. Always remember, I love you. And when you've done your time, I'll be home waiting for you. All my love, always, Rose. I love you and I don't forget you in my prayers. Please do me a favor. Continue your life with or without me. God bless you. Rosie. I'm 
Lucy, why don't you give me a chance to express myself? I really love you. Free yourself from this, this self-imprisonment. Give me a chance to make you happy again. yesterday. someone to talk to. Yes, I'm here. Talk to me. It's just a confusing situation, God. Talk to me. I'm listening. Huh? I'm pregnant. You are what? Pregnant. Oh, God, I thank you. Help! My baby. Thank you. For that stupid boy that is, that is jailed. Eh? It's not like that, mommy. It was a mistake. It happened in Port Harcourt when we went for a management training seminar. And it was just once. I didn't tell it to result to this. Have you told Patrick? No. The worst part of it is the doctor says I can't abort it. He warned me strongly against it. Abort what? Abortion? Oh, why my dear God? God forbid. What am I going to do? You better go and tell Patrick. Hmm. What I think? I can't present the baby to Frank. Hmm? I have waited eight years. I'm just too to go and get pregnant. Anyway, it's all right, huh? Ask me such a question. For you, of course. I was just joking. I was just pregnant. That's great. <laughs> no, it's not.
Rosé. Would you prefer to have a child out of wedlock? Well, I can't start this shame. See you later.
told you, you're just beautiful. Let's go home. Excuse me. Yes. Good morning. No, good morning. Um, I'm asking for Ms. Rosemary Okanga. Um, this is the last address she wrote me with. Yes, she still lives here. Oh, thank you. Please, can I see her? She's getting married to me. We actually need to. Yes. She's getting married. Yes, we are on our way to the church. Uh, uh, excuse me, I. Can I follow you people to the church? I, uh, that's my taxi. I, I came with that taxi. That's kind of you. Okay. For us. Thank you. Actually, Chief, the, the reception venue is agog with news of what happened in church. Everybody's gone. <laughs> Did you hear that? Izu, I promise I'm going to deal with that idiot. Only happen. See poker now. Yeah. See poker just lie down for bed. Yeah. My man, like a cripple man. Cash! Chai! This guy, this guy, this guy's story don't too much. This guy 
best to read on tomorrow. It's small. Zubairo, Zubairo, this is not the appropriate place to apportion blames. Puka is in a bad shape right now. But for that, Ponga fish. Don't worry, I got a ranger. A small team. How? How? You don't forget the level. Ah, boy is dead now. I mean, because you see me like this. Yeah? But what can the young now? Once they go in, every gorilla. Abi. Read it. For, for heaven's sake, eh? For heaven's sake, what sort of problem is this? Eh? What do you think about the rules? Velda, please, you have to let me stay here with you for a while, okay? I mean, I can't face my mother right now. Is, is that the most important thing now? This rules. The only problem you have is yourself. On your wedding day. Rules! Just at the point of being pronounced wife and to, to, to your husband. You decide to throw everything to the wind. Felda. I couldn't answer, I do. Look, the moment I saw Frank, I just stuck in my throat. Hey, do you understand? I, I don't know what to oh, do. Oh, don't now. tell me you don't know what to do. Don't tell me you don't know what to do. Listen, Rose. You've started this, and you must finish it. Who knows? Maybe that. Frank of a guy has, has even cast a spell on you. Oh no, Felda, don't say that. He has done no such thing. And don't talk about Frank in that <coughs> manner, please. You make me laugh. Do you think your mother is pleased with you? What about Patrick? What about his father? And all his guests you so openly disgraced? And just tell that I don't I don't know anything right now. Do you understand? In fact, I I don't want to talk about this. I, I want to be left alone. I want to do now is see Frank. How did he disappear from the accident scene? I don't know. Where are my shoes? Oh, Frank. I'm sure he's waiting for you out there with a million dollar check to congratulate you for being pregnant for his archival. And if you don't mind, please go take out this gown. I'll be the wedding never finish. An office shelter, not your own. Truly blame Rose, you know. I am a woman. I can tell you that not many women will wait for a man seven a ten year jail term. Mom? Uh-uh. Yes. Every woman needs a man. Not one that is a thousand miles away, Frank. Certainly not one that is separated by the barriers of a prison wall. Can you imagine? Rose was actually going to marry that rascal. A boy she very well knew was my sworn enemy in school. That too is because she is a woman. Frank, a woman's heart is like a product for sale. It goes to the highest bidder. My son, Forget that ugly phase of your life. This is the time for you to start picking up the broken pieces of your life and moving on. Mom. Yes. You know I've never hidden anything from you. That's right. You know how much I love Rose. And, and how you she's just... You love Rose, all right. But... Reality on ground has proved otherwise. Frank, we should really be grateful to God, you know, that you're out of jail. Hey, what if you were not granted amnesty? You would have still been in jail far away in Medugri. Eh? Where is that boy now anyway? What do you call him? Patrick or whatever? 
I don't know. A car hit him as he ran across the road after Rose and I. Frank! You've had enough problems in the last eight years! I don't want you getting into fresh problems, Frank. And where are you going to? I just want to be left alone. Oh my God. <laughs> Please just leave. Please, leave my please, life, Rose. Listen to me, Frank. It's not what you... Let me explain. Explain you. what? Please leave my house before I commit murder. What do you want me to understand? That two years to my scheduled release from prison, you went and got married to poker? That bastard. That demon that nearly killed me because of you? Frank, but... I waited. I waited, truly. But, but the devil had but no... The devil did what? Rose, what happened to your promise of an endless love? What happened to our covenant? Be true to each other till death do us part. I mean, why did you fall so cheaply? Worst of all, to poker Messiah? Frank. Frank. How sweet for you to heap the blame on me. Frank, you weakened my resolve, you know. I mean, you, you, you made me lose faith in everything we had. You cast a shadow of doubt all over me. You set me free, remember? I love you, yes. But, but I, I would not want to deceive you or myself by asking you to wait for me. I mean, I have your degree now, and a good job. All I still have, I still have six more years behind bars. You see? Don't waste your time with a convict like me. I didn't mean it that way. I only wanted to free my mind, you know. Just, just wanted to unbutton my, Frank, my listen, intention. You know? Listen, this is not the time to apportion blames on anybody. See, no, nothing has changed. Really, I've dented a little, yes, but we can still make amends. I mean, we have time. I mean, this whole Pregnancy thing and marriage thing was a big mistake. Ross! Did you say you're pregnant? Yeah. Ross, you got pregnant for that? You got pregnant for. Oh my god. Don't touch me!
tell me what is wrong with this fool called Patrick? Why is that man such a self-centered, conceited idiot? What, what, what makes you think he can just do whatever he wants? Darling Rose, the unfortunate incident of yesterday is highly regrettable. The sudden appearance of your one-time friend Frank on a day that God has set aside to be one of our happiest is a ploy by the devil to destroy what we have taken time to build. I know how the two of you were those days in school. But I want you to realize that all things have passed away and everything has become new in both of us. Even though that boy Frank has by his action cost us our joy and totally embarrassed my father and his guests, I resist the urge to be angry with him. Rather, I concede to the fact that since you are involved, I should allow my love for you to prevail over his stupidity. Please. Do not mind or listen to him. I am sure he escaped from the prison purposely to come and spoil our day. But he has failed. Once I am out of hospital, we shall go overseas to wed away from the evil plans of all the friends of this world. I know you have not come to see me because you did not know the hospital I was taken to. And I deliberately didn't send for you immediately because I didn't want my state to frighten you. Take very good care of yourself, and I hope my baby is kicking. I hope to see you soon. Your love forever, Patrick. So, I, I, what if that thing? Well, I don't see anything wrong with this. Anyway, you won't, and I don't expect you to. Besides, all this one is not my problem, right? And my problem right now is my mom and my uncle, and especially my mom. You know how? I can just imagine the state she'll be in, and oh. Anyway, I have made up my mind. Zelda, I've made up my mind. That's fine. Good news. You just have to take things easy, okay? <laughs> Poke and leave that thing. A guy who jumped bail in far away Medukri to come and disrupt your wedding should not be taken lightly at all. Okay, how are we even sure he did not arrange it to close? Eh? Which kind of part are you the young? Eh? Okay. Why did she run away with him? Why has she not come here to look for you? At least knowing how critical your 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 condition is. Poker, I will tell you, there are too many questions without answers. I don't talk him. I have said it. Let us go and ambush that hotel. Then match the bed very well. So that. Then go no say poker messiah. No be ordinary meat where one a she man go just chew anyhow. I mean, you know be poker again. Eh? Zubi. Zubi. Poker a day, a day, a day here. Listen. Society has a way of bestowing responsibilities on one. You see, all these our childhood fantasies we had at school have to give way to a new reality. Zubi, I am now a company director. Mom! Mom, company director! So, because you are now a director, one bag I go just come post and start for your garden and go score free. You say you be company director. Okay! Zubi. You don't the director now? Zubi. I'll handle this my own way. No problem. No problem. Mr. Roka, come over this letter for me. Thank you.
Poker, or whatever your name is. If it was a spell you cast on me, I can tell you now that it has lost its potency and I have regained my senses. Please, consider everything that had happened between us as a terrible nightmare from which the both of us have woken up. And please, again, do not expect to see me again. I talk out. I talk out. Not with this girl. I told you. I knew this girl was up to some mischief. I knew it. Actually, what I, is going on here? Uh, doctor, nothing. He just had a slight pain. That's I'm okay. Pain? Yes, you know, after what he went through, the pains keep coming and all that. I said I'm alright! Well, well, well. Whatever the case, you must realize that this is a hospital. And there are other patients here, for goodness sake. We have tolerated you because of your father. But you are overstretching that privilege now. Nurse, call three other nurses quickly and relocate him to weeks. Um, but Dr. Why now is so Help all these people! I said it there! Or give me anyhow. I don't want to know anyhow. I want you to bring that girl here. Bring Rosie here. Look, that one will not be a problem. I go arrange her. I tell you, say, boys, they leave that to me. And as for that boy, Frank, I made a mistake some years back. I should have taken care of him. And as for Rosie, I'll make her realize that no matter how old, the leopard never loses its spots. Have you not been Messiah? Eh? Eh? Poka Mezaya! This leg don't go. Ah! Poka. Mm? This leg don't go. Mm. Hey! Poka Mezaya! Mezaya! Proko to 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 Proko to 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 Poka Mezaya! Leg don't go. Mama, look. I am truly sorry for whatever pain or embarrassment I might have caused you. Truly, I am. But try and understand, I made a mistake. Will you shut up? And stop telling me useless story about mistake. Mistake my foot. You admitted a man in between your legs. It was a mistake. You became pregnant for him. It was a mistake. You agreed to marry him. It was a mistake. And you did not realize your mistake until you were in the altar with him before the whole world to be pronounced husband and wife. Then suddenly, suddenly Frank came and reminded you that you were making a mistake. How about Rose, do you want to kill me? Eh? Oh, you kill me! No, kill me, Rose! Mama, please. You're, no, kill me! You're, you're taking this thing too far. It's not like that. Oh, okay, let's just say eh, I was crazy. I, I was mad or something, but what? Well, Mama, I have gained my sanity now. How? You understand with me. Whatever it is that that boy Frank has done to you that is making you behave like someone without brains or wherever he has taken you that has turned your head away from reason and common sense that you no longer respect your mother, me your mother Rose Oh Saloba, God will never let him succeed God will not allow him to succeed The God I serve will not let him succeed Do you hear me? Mama look Frank has not taken me anywhere. I mean, he. he hasn't Keep quiet! Keep quiet, Rose! Okay, kill me, I want to go kill me! Rose, kill me, I want to die! Hello, Barista. I want you to do everything possible to send that boy back to jail. Why? Who granted a criminal amnesty? Of course, he cost it. He totally embarrassed my guest. Spoiled my day? My son's accident? Listen, Barissa. Claim enormous damages. I have mobilized enough resources to prosecute this case. And if you feel you cannot handle it, let me know. Some will have it.
Hi! Sweet Cinderina! So you thought you could hide from your shadows, huh? And who are you? What, what shadows? Who are you? What do you want? If you wish to scream, you can go ahead. But I tell you, not even the entire U.S. Marine can get you off this hook today. Well, baby girl, just like the goldfish, huh? There is no hiding place for you. Now, listen. Listen real good. You will follow us right now to answer for your sins. To where? Please. I said, please do not do anything funny. Oh. Zubi. Oh. You hurt yourself. Zubi. I mean it. Aren't you ashamed of yourself? And Zubi, you're still letting yourself be used by a man like you? Look at you. Still parading yourself like the useless cultist you have always been. After several years of graduation, eh, Zubi? <laughs> well, that's your own opinion, baby. <laughs> like I said, you have to follow us to answer for your sins because it's judgment day for you. The Messiah wants to see you. <laughs> Please do not make a noise. Let's go, Cinderina. Well, if Patrick wants to see me, I will see him at my own time. No, it has to be now because the Messiah has spoken. He wants to see you. Please. Shall we? Please, be my guest. Okay? So all this while you had a secret agenda with that, that fool to scuttle our wedding. Hmm? Ah! Zubaino! Fuck up. Oh. Poker don't mess, for Final eclipse of fucking up. Papenka, hmm? eight years ago, I could have crushed that boy like an ant. But I, Poka Messiah, chose to let him leave. Atoka yeah. Mabi. Atoka. Papanka. If you see Luciano, make you ask. I told my guy, Poka. Moku end this guy. Moku eliminate this guy, eradicator once and for all. But Poka said no. That, 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 that we should just um, um, frame him up. I don't want to finish. I don't want to finish. Puka, come on. Baka self say, you didn't get idea. Who come be who for this school now? Say! Now waiting their turns. Puka, you will go from bed the bastard. Say! No, Zubi, Zubi, no! No! Eh? Hapu! Hapu the guy! Viva! I go give a load way and go carry for the rest of your life. Eh? Viva! <laughs> no be babe. Boka said that he would rather give him a load that he will carry for the rest of his life. Now the load he 
you they carry so at least he don't carry the load scatter your word the guy don't hit you but full time the embarrassment the shame all the money spent everything ah! oh, can you fuck up do ah! you and to think that that this this idiot was in league with him Zubi. Bapianka Mussolini. Adeba, me. Adeba! No chickens! No chickens! One more leg. Shh! Beside patients that are in critical condition. Please. Listen to the doctor, it's alright. And if you ask me, I think uh, she narrowly escaped because she actually did bleed a lot. Madam, please. And I'm sorry too to add that she lost the pregnancy. Please, 
please. Like I said, I think it, it, it's a miracle she's still alive. Please, please. Ensure that she's not disturbed, okay? Oh, what is the last I have finished? It's all right, it's okay. Put yourself together, it's all right, it's okay. It's a good thing she even lost the pregnancy. What? How can you say such a thing? Mama, it's okay. It will help help forge memories of our fortunate relationship with the party. It's alright, Mama. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. No matter the provocation, to the extent that it caused her to miscarry, that, huh? that is a lie. That is a lie. She did not miscarry anything. Oh, that's a plan. She has connived with that stupid boy to abort my baby. I tell you that. That will not work. It will not work. Patrick Reddy, fool. Just listen to herself talk. You think you are still a baby? Eh? Now remain here and get him arrested. Chain him to the bed if he makes any more problem. Yes, eh? All right, sir. Nonsense. Listen, Patrick. If you think because you have a successful business to so inherit, then you won't be serious with your life. I will surprise you. Nonsense. Look at the way you spoil my beautiful case for me. determined to go down the drain in spite of my investment in him. Eh? I'm, I'm sorry, sir, but you don't really understand. Do you need me to spell it out? Does party look to you like somebody leading a responsible life? Eh? Kizu, look at the way he has brought this case for me. Beautiful case. That, I, I hope you set me up to Don't be afraid, sir. I, I would like to What should be this again now? No problem, my dear. I can understand. I am a mother. I can understand what she's going through right now. Even though her relationship with my son is highly regrettable, it is not my wish that she should go through this trauma. Thank you so much for your understanding, mother. Okay, my dear. Well, I think I should be going. Right. I shall come to see her again. Um, let me see if I'll be able to convince Frank to come. I know it's a difficult period for him. More especially now that he's um, trying to go back to school. Sorry. 
Just take it in and rest then. Eh? I'll make sure nobody disturbs you again. What does she want to tell me? That she's sorry. That it was a mistake she got pregnant for the guy who, who drew back the hand of my blood for eight years. What? At least, read the letter and hear what she has to say. Mom, huh? Mom, I'm not interested. She should just leave me alone. Frank, then you have not truly accepted the teachings of Jesus Christ. If you cannot forgive. Hmm? So, so I should go and tell her I'm sorry. That was my fault. This girl is critically sick in the hospital and requests to see you. That's not too much to ask for, is it? But mom, how do I face a girl who... who... Oh, short. Frank. Mom, I'm sorry. The boy we are talking about here is a hardened criminal. Yes! He was jailed 10 years for murder. But, but, but nobody knows how he managed to escape from prison. Are you sure of what you're talking about? Uh -uh. The officer, did we come to make such a report yesterday? I, I am telling you that a, a, a criminal is roaming around the street free. Exactly. So, well, if you people don't want to arrest him, I just thought. This oh, what's that? Who are these people? There's this boy. Um, actually, we were schoolmates. And uh, as a co-autist, during one of these their occult activities in school, he now shot one of our lecturers and killed him. And he was arrested and charged for murder. Yes, sir. He was jailed 10 years. And we don't know how he managed to escape from prison. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yes. Are you sure he's not one of those people for the government granted amnesty? Ah, no! Amnesty court is can be possible. To you, my dear brother. Thank you. You remember federal government was granted about um, 500 people amnesty? Yes, sir. At least just came from the first headquarters, sir. Yes. Just under the wall. Okay. 
What is his name? Uh, uh, Frank Obike. Frank, 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 yes. Frank. Uh, look at it. Uh, hey, good, good, good. It's one of them. And we, we, we just thought that uh, good citizens of this country to come and uh, report. Uh, just thank you so much. Because it's not for 10 years. We want to go like you. We appreciate. Thank In you. fact, this is exactly what we want from the general public. Uh, but sir, the neighborhood is in trouble. Lives are not safe there, sir. Anyway, you see, the police is your friend. So we just thought we will help what do the police work. Thank you, sir. Thank, thank you very much. Okay, sir. Thank you very much, sir. Thank you. Before a cat. It was not a mere dream. Then what is it? I saw a boy trying to run away with, with my wife. I tried to stop him. Then the police came and shot at me. Patrick, you are a fool. How do you mean? Didn't you hear what I just said? Don't you understand? Because she's not your wife. Are you making sense? Huh? A girl who was pregnant for me? A girl who was about to get married to me before the same boy came and ran away with her out from the altar on my wedding day? You see why I said she's not your wife? Listen, if only we could seek the face of God in everything we do, if only we could listen to the voice of reason, no man will have any cause to drag a woman with another man. Because every man has a God-given wife. And that includes you, Patrick. Oh, Bata. Heavy oh Bata. Iggy, you mean I should sit down and watch while a boy who stole my wife goes scot free? <laughs> Iggy, you do not know poker Messiah. Patrick, answer this question. If she's truly your God-given wife, why will she run away with another man? Because the stupid boy deceived her. Supposing you're the one deceiving her and deceiving yourself. Huh? Policeman, a common policeman. What do you know? Eh? One way traffic. See, if you like, follow me anywhere you like. Listen to what my father has said. Follow me into the toilet, into the bedroom. If I catch that boy, if I catch him, I will kill him. And if you do that, you will be arrested and charged for murder and be executed. Not only that, you will have proven me right that you are really a big fool. <laughs> Ask for your forgiveness. Please permit me to still address you as my darling Frank. This is not an attempt to change your opinion about me. But even as my light dwindles, I feel a desperate need to see you for the last time. Not to ask for your forgiveness as I have said, but to let you know that events of the past as they concern us are beyond me. I was not deceiving you when I confessed my love for you. 
And even now that I am going down, I still carry your tender love in my heart. Only God can tell why fate brought me where I have found myself. Frank, please, before my sun sets, before my night falls, indeed, before my roses wither, oblige me this last wish, that I see you for the very last time and bid you goodbye. And I would have died satisfied. Rose. for a falling star make a wish. And how long do I have to wait for a falling star to make a wish? Shh. Don't look. If you have to wait for me, how long will it take? Eternity. Still not looking. Frank. Now, eyes closed. Close your eyes. of love. Like I told you, your friend's problem is psychological. She's deeply hurt by a major emotional breakdown. But don't worry, that's the problem. Otherwise, she's medically okay now. Oh, come on. In no time, she'll come around, okay?
prescribed all this for you. And why is there no somebody to assist you? I prescribed it for myself. What? Frank, life is not worth living. So let me just... I just wanted to end it all. You, know, you mean you wanted to drug yourself to death? You wanted to kill yourself? <laughs> let me just die. No, Rose. <laughs> you will not die. You shall live to declare the good works of God. Okay? Life is not the same without you. I can't live without you. I just want to die. Neither can I. I am not worthy of your forgiveness. I just want to die in my shame. I'm sorry. Forgiveness is of God, okay? Let all that's gone be in the past. We have a bright future for us now. Okay. The Bible said, You shall not see your grave until your old age. Okay? Frank! Doctor, that's Frank. I told you, she'll come around. All she needed was to face the brighter side of life. Chief, he can go home now. You see, we thank God that the bones have successfully joined. But as much as possible, he must avoid trouble so that the bones do not shift from the joints. You can tell him that. Did you hear him now, Patrick? Did you hear the doctor now? Well, Nonsense. Well, 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 that's by the way. Mr. Patrick, you are required to come for weekly physiotherapy treatment, okay? Um, doctor, thank you. Eh? All right, sir. Thank you. No, go then. It's mine now. Now, what eh? Rose or 
Wakanga. Take ye this day, Master Frank, to be your lawful wedded husband, to have and to hold, to love and to cherish. Oh my God, Patrick, sickness. you were again? Who are you? And what do you want? Frank. I know I have tormented you all these years. Even framed you. All because of Rose. But that has not stopped you from loving each other. That has not even stopped your love from waxing stronger. I have come here today to ask you to forgive me, if you can. But if you can't, leave me to God. I said, who is this young man? Where are you from? Peaceful married life. 